Hello guys, Chuck Rollins again, BigCrappie.com Guide Service. Uh, you remember me from last time talking to you about the 9 inch flex. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about the 9 inch tapered flex. This blade, uh, I was introduced to this blade about maybe three or four months ago. And you'll notice it's got a much thinner blade. It's tapered on the end. Uh, it's got a little more flex. And for these crappie like this, this is perfect. So when you guys are ready, I'm going to show you guys how to clean these fish and be efficient with this kind of blade. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start right behind this uh, fin on this fish, and we're just going to make one cut. You'll see I just made one slice, and that one slice went all the way down to his spine. Once I get to his spine, I'm going to take the rear of the knife here, and I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to make it go right down the spine, and I'll follow with it here. So, and then I'm just going to push. You'll notice that I've either, I'm either pulling or I'm pushing the entire time. And then I'm going to slide these two fingers here so that I don't pull it off of the, the skin off the body. I'm going to start here. You see I put a little, little flex in that knife. One, two, and, and you're off. There's your fillet. It's nice and close, just the way it's supposed to be. And then we'll do the other side right here. One cut. Again, right here, once I get that in there, I'll put my fingers there. And then I just go one nice, nice push down his back. And then I'm going to take the rear of the blade here and pull it the rest of the way through. Flip it over, just like that. And you'll see it's a nice, thin crappie filet. There's hardly anything left there. One reason I like this, not only is the blade thinner, but of course it'll flex more. So it enables me to make a little sharper, a little quicker turns, uh, and still get right down there next to the bone. Uh, enabling me just to miss a little bit less meat than what I might with a little bit bigger blade, which is why it's great for these little bit smaller type fish like the crappie. Guys, whenever you're ribbing, uh, when I rib these crappie, I usually just make a little V-cut. You'll notice that my cut that I make uh, on this front edge is actually a curved cut. So if you'll flex the blade a little bit, you can make a nice curved cut whenever you, whenever you pull it. The handle, of course, is the same, just like the 9-inch flex uh, that I like to use on the white bass and the bigger fish. But for these crappie, when you've got a, a real delicate fish where you've got to make those nice, sharp turns, this one right here is just ideal. All right, guys, uh, we're going to knock out a few sand bass. A lot of people call them white bass with the same blade here. All right, here we go. On these bubble blades, you're going to notice this handle, the way it fits in your hand good, like so. It's got the nice thumb piece. It's got the little trigger right here. So it, it, when, when your hands are wet, like mine are most of the time when I'm cleaning fish, you don't have to worry about that blade sliding out of your hand. And it, it's just a lot safer blade. One cut and you're through, guys, kind of like butter. When you get a new bubble blade, you're going to find that it's going to come super sharp. Uh, when Bubble Blade handed me this blade this morning for us to use, it was so sharp it would shave the hair right off my arm. Guys, the reason I think this is the perfect blade for these smaller fish like your panfish, your, your white bass, your crappie, your, even your bluegill, your yellow bass, is that it's got a lot of flex. You still got that perfect handle. It is super sharp right out of the box. And that's why I think this is the ideal blade.